Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today I'll be configuring information management policy setting for document retention on a content type in SharePoint 2010. First, let's just say that our retention policy feature is going to help us retire or process content in a consistent way that we can track and manage. When a content item expires, you can specify that it is disposed off or that a custom workflow is run or different actions that you'll see in just a second. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to my SharePoint uh, site and then from within my SharePoint site I'm going to go to site actions, site settings. Uh, under site settings I'm going to go under galleries and select my site content types. Uh, you can work off of uh, your existing uh, content types that ship out of the box if you're leveraging them or the custom content types that you've created. I've created a custom content type in here that is just called custom. So I'm going to go into the custom content type that I've created. Under settings, I'm going to click on information management policy settings. And I'm going to enable retention of content that is used uh, that is using this content type. I'm going to add a retention stage. In this retention stage I'm going to say uh, the uh, time, the event, which basically says specify what causes the stage to activate. So this stage will be caused based on today's date. Uh, let's just say it's right now zero years. Notice the options here. We can we can base this off today's date, which is just a column on that content type. Uh, we could say three days, whatever your business requirement is. So I'm going to do three years, or actually I'm going to do zero years for now. And so here's the action, list of all the actions that can be performed. So we can be uh, moving this to a recycle bin, permanently deleting this, transfer this to a different location, we can start a workflow. You want to make sure that you've got your workflows in there first. Skip to the next stage. Delete or declare a record based on that. So uh, integration with in-place record management there. Uh, delete previous drafts and delete all previous versions. For me, I'm going to move it to the recycle bin if uh, it's today's date, if it hits today's date. So this could be your expiration date if it's a custom field that you've created. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And then I'm going to add another retention stage. I'm going to say same thing, today's date, and then I'm going to say three years. So in three years, so we'll go ahead and permanently delete it. And we'll go ahead and uh, click on OK. And towards the bottom of all of this, these are different features in here, we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And that concludes this video. So uh, this has been a configuration of information management policy setting for document retention on a content type in SharePoint 2010. Until next time.